Hi lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Simsa Life, so first time stopping by, you're definitely welcome. Do, do make sure to click on the subscribe button down here and click on the notification bell. It lets you know every time I drop a new video. So Ramadan is coming up and I've been thinking of um, doing a Ramadan daily. If you follow me from last year, you know that I did Ramadan daily where I was, I basically put out 30 videos during the month of Ramadan last year and I want to do something similar. I can't do 30 days obviously because my life is not the same and I'm not as jobless as I was so I cannot do 30 days but I'm going to do something different so and I didn't just want to come on here and just start posting the videos. It wouldn't make any sense. So you guys, a lot has been going on, a lot and I didn't just want to just start posting the videos without telling you what happened, where I've been and why I've not been on YouTube. So, during this month of March that just passed, um, I knew about three people who died. And it was not just, like, people that you just know. It's, like, people close to home. I feel like every time when someone dies and you're not really related to that person, you're just going to be like, hey, yeah, sorry, and then you're moving on. But if it's someone that you just saw or someone that you knew and a story that has kind of relates to your family story something very personal basically like you cannot just shrug it off your shoulders and act like nothing happened you know um i was kind of like down and he weighed me like till today i still think about it like oh my god this is how people just die and even though as muslims you are taught to always think about that and like be cautious that you can die anytime. I don't know why we always think that you have to be a certain age. Certain age, in quotes. Like, you have to be old before you die. But a lot of people die in their young age. And even recently, the people that I know that died recently, they are not even... Maybe there was only one person that was 40-something. Every other person were, like, young people. And it's been so depressing. Like, the only thing on my mind has been, oh, my God, when am I going to die? And if I die, what's going to happen to me? I'm going to go to my YouTube channel and what I going to get from my YouTube channel. Oh my God, I'm just going to die like that. Like, if I die, I'm not even going to use all of these clothes. What, why? Like, what's the purpose of this earth? Like, why are we here? And of what purpose are we acquiring things and doing things when eventually we're going to die? Like, I don't know if it's just me, but it has, like, when it's close to home, you're not able to brush it off anymore because this is something that is very physical. This is something that you cannot even pretend. So, um, I don't want to bore you guys. That's been what has been on my mind and it would definitely be inconsiderate of me and, and unsympathetic for me to just um, keep putting videos out like nothing happened. Especially because I was down mentally. Like I was just like, oh my God. Anywho, <laughs> this year I'm going to try, inshallah, I'm going to try to do a different kind of content for Ramadan daily. So it's going to be three times a week, God willing. I pray that I can keep up and do um, three times a week. I'm going to have guests. So if you know anybody who is comfortable being on my channel and they are in the US or the UK or anywhere else now, I like to feature them on my channel. So please send me a DM and follow me on Instagram. I just want to say thank you to whoever created Instagram because that's Zuckerberg, right? Because Instagram has just been a distraction for me. It has been a good and a bad distraction. I would say bad distraction in the sense that you're just wiling away time and you are not being cautious of the fact that you are going through something. You are not really able to process your thoughts and your sad moments because you are seeing something that is making you laugh. If anybody follows me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm always posting bands, funny things, even though I can't like physically make um content for myself because i'm not just in the mood i share things that i see and i get responses so i know that people enjoy it i see when people are laughing replying sending me dms so like oh my gosh that was so funny um it has been a good distraction for me in the sense that a good distraction like i'm not constantly worried or constantly sad and depressed and just like thinking about oh i'm just going to die so let me do anything else but <clears throat> being on instagram 
the good part of the distraction is that you're seeing people living life and you're like, oh my, what's wrong? What's worrying you? You probably will not even die in another what 20, 30 years, and you probably might die in another God knows what. So like, but I better live your life. Honestly, that's pretty much all I came to do on my channel today. Another thing that I've been thinking about is my channel has not been encouraging. So if you're watching this video, mm, if you're watching this video, I put it to you to send my video to someone else, anybody that has not heard of me before. Tell them to subscribe to my channel. I need to get to 1K. Like, I don't know. I've been on YouTube now. This June is going to make it two years and I'm not able to get to 1K subscribers, which, like, sometimes it's like, why am I doing this YouTube self? Of what purpose? Like, we're not growing. The, view, the views are not increasing. Like, it's not encouraging because it's just like, am I wasting my time? Am I doing my video for just my family and my friends? Because my target audience is my family and my friends. Do you get? So, like, when you see my video, I aggressively share, please. Tell your friends to tell your friends to tell your friends to subscribe to my channel. It's free. Just subscribe. Like, once I see the notification, I know that, okay, my people are fighting for me. Anyway, that's all for today, you guys. I just wanted to let you know that I didn't abandon my YouTube channel and um, I've come to love YouTube. So, if you know me, you know that I like talking. Talking is not a big deal for me. I enjoy talking. It's not really a big deal for me. I enjoy it. So, I'm not going to leave YouTube anytime soon. To so everybody that has checked up on me to say, oh, where have you been? I'm here. <laughs> I'm with you guys. Um, another thing I started recently is I started a I started an Instagram page called Fork and Beef. Fork and Beef, like fork and beef meat. It's just a food channel. Apart from eating and talking, I like cooking. So since I like cooking and many times people, people always like eating, so I was like, why not create a channel? So I have a new channel. It's my new baby. Yes, I want you to go. Follow me on that platform. It's called Fuck and Beef. I'm going to think about, I'm going to think about putting it on YouTube very soon. I, I don't think I'm ready yet, but when I am, I'll probably like just put all of my videos there and then make more content as well. Depending on how receptive you guys are, honestly, because I cannot just be posting things and I'm not getting anybody's like, I'm not getting any positive feedback or like I, I don't want to do things just because my friends are ailing me. Do you get? I want to do things because everybody else can also benefit from it or everybody else is also like getting something as opposed to just my family members and friends and so like coming my way next time don't forget to subscribe like share this video and tell a friend to tell a friend that Simi's corner is back oh i actually forgot <laughs> i changed my name too or more i changed my name more because Simi talks was becoming very common on youtube don't forget to like comment up and subscribe to my youtube channel um it's good to be back <laughs> bye you guys